Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a brand new walkthrough, and what could this possibly be? Ooh, this is a bit interesting one, I mean, it came second in my, um, you know, my, um, survey, no, not survey, voting, that's not, that's not a word, um, although if you see the title below, you, or above rather, you probably know what it is. What's this? It's a moon. It's some epic music. It's totally out bass sound for you. I swear that they did the first Ratchet and Clank! Oh yes, with a random black bit at the bottom. Not that that's for, but there you go. And so here we are, Ratchet and Clank 2. What a brilliant game. Um, it's Ratchet and Clank 2 in most of the world, but in the UK it's called Ratchet and Clank Locked and Loaded. Um, and it's got some Japanese title that I can't remember. This is a pretty awesome clip here of Ratchet playing Ratchet and Clank 1. He also plays Ratchet and Clank 2, so I'm not watching correctly. Clank looks thoroughly entertained. Um, quite a nice screen he's got there, actually. Good old Ratchet. Um, so here we go. Might as well go on my fit, you know. New game. I'll go at the bottom, you know. Okay, so this, we're going to jump straight into it. This game, it's not as good as the first one, in my opinion, but it's still an amazing game. I've been looking forward to doing this. So here we go. Ratchet and Clank 2, locked and loaded. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. Tonight's heroes are the duo who recently restored peace and order to our galaxy. Ratchet and Clank. So, gentlemen, tell us about your latest incredible adventures. Well, as you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Drek's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls. And the wiener roast at Al's. Oh, yeah, that. And then things started to slow down a bit. After that, we, well... There was the grand opening at Groovy Lube. Right. I think that was last week. Six months ago. We're still pretty busy, but in a more, um, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. I guess... No one needs a hero right now. Oh, poor Ratchet. After all that fun and games of the first game. <laughs> Miss Noodlebottom, I found our man! And what the hell happened to Ratchet's voice? Did he grow some Lombax balls or something like that? I don't know. Sounds like a Chinese dish, actually, Lombax balls. Welcome! What the? I'm Abercrombie Fizzwidget, founder of the Megacorp Company in the Bogon Galaxy. Bogon? I'm sorry to incapacitate you, but our entire galaxy is in a very precocious situation. I must humbly request your sustenance on a mission of dire urgitude, a mission of superfluous peril, a mission of unequivocal imperitude. Did that make any sense? <laughs> so, you need me to go on a dangerous mission in another galaxy. Indubitably! A few days ago, this top-secret biological experiment was stolen from our testing laboratory by this duplicitous criminal mastermind, and I need you to get the experiment back. We'll do it. We will. Frank, I have precipitated your recalcitrance and have made special improvisation for you. We are prepared to give you a job as the head accountant for Megacorp, plus a penthouse suite in lovely Megapolis. And our state-of-the-art robotic muscle. Well, hey, hey. Deal. As for you, Ratchet, I'll need you in some purgatory shape. While in transit to the Pokemon Galaxy, you will undergo heavy training and conditioning, including martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, macrame, ballroom dance, and origami. <laughs> but both of you know Watson Gromit. Does this is what you have used bipolar vector regurgitation to track the thief's location to a flying base in Sector 7. That's in Wallace, rather. <laughs> it will tribulate the base and retrieve the experiment. Sir, ready for launch. Slight lag there with the voice, that's part of the game there, but you know, I love Fizzwidget. He's such a bumbling, hilarious character. I admire his use of words, or lexicon, as us English geeks know. Um, so he goes Ratchet by himself this time, actually, for the first mission. And he will be for the first couple of missions, which is a bit lonely about Clay. But there you go. Ratchet reporting. I'm on final approach to coordinates 37 Alpha. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Affirmative. Beginning radio silence. I remember, like, um, playing the... I, I, I played this game on Christmas of... When was it? Whatever year it was released, I got it for Christmas and I played it then. And it was just, I was so excited doing this bit, you know. Playing Ratchet by himself in a fancy new uniform as well, Mega Corp. Weapons, hold triangle and select an icon with the left <laughs> analog stick. Yeah. And basically, you've got two weapons when you start. You have the um, Lancer and the Gravity Bomb. Lancer is basically the blast from the first game. This is basically um, a more powerful version of the Bomb Glove, to be honest with you. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty base weapons to start off with. Nothing too outrageous. Uh, but now look at the map. Not very big. This first mission is halfway along. Infiltrate the flying base. Fizzwidget has given you your first mission. 
infiltrate the flying base in sector 7 and find the missile and experiment. You know, I think it's too difficult. So here we go. Press circle to fire your lancer. So here is um, robots that um, old um, the beef is hired, obviously. If I quickly go to the um, items, no help menu rather. Monsterpedia, this is a brilliant little page. Megacorp Monsterpedia will tell you about the enemies that you have encountered so far. So, Megacorp Security Robot number one, the chainsaw model. It comes equipped with a standard issue arm um, mounted chainsaw, fire light legs, allow it more efficiently chase down and eradicate intruders. Well, it should do anyway, but they're fairly weak, so there you go. Um, is that all we've got so far? No. Basically, help log controls, move weapons, anything else I want to show you here? Um, I, could, I, could, I could go forward with these, but you know. Um, I could, I could also do some sort of video, maybe another time I can show you, but you know, this isn't most of the important things. Hyper Strike, that's always a good move to have. Um, weapons, not really, gadgets, some of the gadgets, yeah, yeah, then we've got, got, got the ship, um, which we can actually upgrade in this game. You, 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 you don't change ships, like, constantly in the last game, because, like, in the last game, we'd be well on the run, after all. In this game, match is like, you know, he's a hired hero, which is quite awesome. Um, and we get our own ship, which we can then, you know, fly about and equip and upgrade and do all sorts. And there's space combat as well, which isn't as bad as you would think. You know, it's quite good, you know. I remember they made a big fuss about um, Jack and Daxter Lost Frontier, which was developed by High Impact Games, which were previous members of Insomniac. Um, that was quite criticised because of um, the flying combat, I think. I don't know, maybe because they put too much emphasis on it. Anyway, I'm going to use the Lancer now, I love talking a lot, to um, upgrade it, because in this game it's not upgrade level, you can probably get the gold weapons. Um, which actually you do that if you replay the game, you get the um, sort of like gold weapons, as it were. Oh, oh, a third monster there. This one is. I'm going to quit doing this because I think. Hopefully you'll like it. Let me, let, let me know in the comments if you find this annoying me going through the monsters and I'll stop doing it in the next part. Um, the Mega, sh mega Shop, Mega Corp Security Robot, uh, Mega Corp Security Robot MSR Type 2 is designed for those who need the best that Mega Corp has to offer but can't afford to pay it. <laughs> Complete with a Revitalian plated arm mounted frame thrower, robots guaranteed to stop us up to 8% of intruders. Obviously, ratchets in the 20%, you know. <laughs> To control Unlucky. the camera, use the right analog stick. Probably just in better on having a, a highly trained, awesome Lombax, you know, getting into the ship. Lovely view of the mountains there. Health, so Somewhere there, Julie the Andrews is singing about the sound of music, probably. Um, ammunition, always good. We've got, we've got the usual help desk stuff here as well. It's fairly awesome, you know. I like it. It's, it's a good game, it's not as good as Ratchet Clank 1, so I'm not going to say a lot because, well, in my opinion, and that's what I believe, you know. And then I go outside, I should put a little Hopefully here, hopefully, yep, yeah, yes. Yeah. A little strafing here. Fire single shots to cover these guys. Oh, more there, but I'm going to do it on the edge. You get a um, thing called the Fox Fol Break, which basically is a red chap play. You can smash loads of things all around at once. I'm going to be a bolt horn and get loads of them up the front. We need all three loads of bolts, well, 14 each, and you need bolts in this game again. If you don't notice already, I'm already on 2,000, and you get a lot more bolts, a lot more quickly in this game, I must say. Rather than in the last game, again, we all sort of, you know, come together in a, in, in a new county fashion, you know. Plus, oh yes, when you do this move here, the old throwing thing, far one, you actually move while it does it, and you'll find it back to you. It's like, magnetic boost, which is quite cool, I like it, but anyway. Okay, that's a bad boy. That's what I'll do this now. Is I just, just want to like get. I want to get at least five thousand um, bolts for um, when I get to the next planet, so I can buy the next gun. You know, start collecting as it were. I should be able to be a bit of advice for the gravity bomb. Try selecting the gravity bomb and using it against those enemies. Oh, why not? Okay, gravity bomb. Aim. Fire. A blitz race condition. Oh. <laughs> so that's the first one that's happened before. Usually I get through that one. I get finished ammunition. But anyway, here we are now, and oh my god, it's the Pro Pit. Well, as it's called anyway. Experiment. Oh, I see it's time to update my security forces. Whoa, whoa, no, hey, no, no, look, I'm just here to fix the transflexor coil. Nice try. 
Give my regards to Megacorp. Finish him. <laughs> Fail. Who would have thought Microsoft sends a demon? I didn't realize as well that Darth Vader's um, voice actor got a job in this. <laughs> Lols, not me, but yeah. Fire, 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 fire. Nice little mini ambush here, nothing to do with it. No. My well, Vashas would be like, hey, I've got a wrench. Give me that proto. You know. The main game a whole lot easier just to give it to him. Um, if we could have just got off the beef there, like, fought him, you know. Surely him being a ninja, like, I swear he, like, did training for being a ninja. He could have, like, got it off him quite easily. Anyway, you know, he would have saved us a lot of hassle in the next couple of missions. Uh, let's watch this bad boy. There we go. I really am being an ambition whore here as well. Alt whore, ambition whore. I'm just a whore, in other words. <laughs> but he's quick. Bugs for less. If it ain't broke, we'll break it. Right. I'm in the market for some security. You'll bring the cash, we'll bring the thrash. Good. I need your best men to meet me at these coordinates. I like how everyone hasn't got any eyes, you know. Apart from, my, well, it's, it's in like pupils, but, you know, it's a bit creepy almost. I think magic would. Right, right, magic, magic, magic does. But, the best though. Ooh. It really isn't worth, for now at least, um, using, um, What's it called? Only range on these guys because well you might want to save ammunition. We need to upgrade weapons. So use your gun whenever you can, basically. Um, I'm getting closer to my Okay. I'm not sure I'm gonna make this part each time. I just want to get missions done. You know, I want to get off the ship, as it were. Two. Loads of bots on this corridor. Leave there now, though. Let's keep battling our way through. Come on, guys. Show what you got. Oh, hello. There we go. Love strafing. I'll pop a strafing down. That's a strafer. What a strafer. What a, what a strafer. That's 15 song there, which I slightly just didn't think it was too. It's a little bit naughty. Anyway, this is the last room, I believe. Oh, dear lord. Oh, come on, not enough bolts. I want to watch the bolts. Need more bolts. This, this, this isn't good, this is, how, this is how I pictured it. Oh, come on, is there any bolts in? Oh, yeah, there you go. How did I miss all those? Let's take focus on enemy. Take focus on, you know, the most important thing of all, probably, I think. Getting past enemies. It's quite good. Anyway, along we go. Da, 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 jumping, jumping, bouncing, flipping, doing that sort of stuff. And out we go. This awesome little cutscene here. He's behind oh. you. <laughs> Bigger balls than I have, bloody hell. <laughs> that is the most awesome shit but I never. I need one of those to my, you know, wrists. <laughs> Stupid robot. Robot suicide much. Anyway, see you in the next part.